Okay, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, this would be a continuation of our discussion regarding the equation of the circle. Um, before we move on any further, I'm just going to write here the standard form for the equation of the circle being x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equals to r squared. Now, in our previous video, um, you are being given the center and the radius and you are asked to find the equation of the circle and it's actually quite easy because you just simply need to substitute the values for example we have center at 2 and 3 and radius is equals to 5 substitute all the values h and k ito yan. so you will have x minus 2 squared plus y minus oh, sorry y minus 3 squared is equals to 25 because that is 5 squared okay and then just simply apply square of binomial and combine all the similar terms. In this case, the answer here would be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6x um, plus 9 is equal to 25. And combine all the numbers. So we will have x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6x. Um, this is 25 minus uh, 9 minus 4 so this will give us negative 12 is equals to 0 so you can i you can either have the constants on the other side like this one x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6x is equals to positive 12 or you can have it here okay in any case you are not ano naman eh, um long as your numbers are correct uh in the signs and um the multiplications are all correct then you don't have to worry about the structure so in any case that was our last topic um finding the equation given the center and the radius in our um next discussion which is um in this uh, video um we will be finding the center and the radius given the equation so it would um it would be the other way around you will be given say an equation uh, say x squared plus I know let's make it the easier one x minus 3 squared plus y plus 7 squared is equals to 4 you will be given the equation and you will find the center and the radius so we will have two examples the one that is written like this and one that is written like this um, wait long, let me invent something say 6 We'll have three cases here, plus y squared minus 10x plus 25 is equals to 9. Yeah, so we have this one. So three cases na lang pala. First case would be, it's very obvious. Um, it's already in the uh, SB or uh, square of binomial form. Next one, it would be already in your PST. You will notice these are perfect square trinomials. And the last one would be, it's not obvious at all. So you will have to use completing the square. Okay, let me just uh, move the, yeah, the screen a little bit down here. Okay, here. So say I have x squared minus uh, plus 10x plus y squared minus um, say 14y plus 5 is equal to 0. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew it. Let me just change this one. This is supposed to be a y. Okay, so there you go. So, in our first given, it's very easy for us to find the center and radius. Why? Because in the center would ha always have h and k, right? And the radius, of course, would be just simply the radius or any, val any value, okay? Any real number. Now, in this hk, remember that it's always beside, h is always beside x. And of course, you will notice that the sign is always changing. So, this would be positive 3. Okay? Next, as for the k, k is always beside y. So, therefore, y would, the number beside y would be your k. And again, it changes sign. And r is, of course, this one. But remember, this is equivalent to r squared. Okay, so uh, in getting r, you just simply have to get the square root. So let's just take the square root of 4 and the answer would simply be 2. So we will have 2 as our r. 
it's very easy to find the center and radius if you have the equation in the standard form already. Okay? Now, in this case, again, this is not on the standard form. This is on the uh, expanded form, and um, it's not simplified. It's a not, not um, what to call, non-simplified expanded form of your um, standard form. So, in this case, uh, it's very obvious to see this is a PST and another PST. And factoring PST is actually quite easy. Why? Because you just simply need to take the square root of the last two, first two terms. I, first and last term. So, that would be x and 9. I, sorry, it's 3. And then just simply get the sign in the middle. Minus squared. And then the same goes for y. That would be um, square root of y is y. y squared, I mean. Square root of 25 is 5. And then get the sign in the middle, which is minus. And then just put a square. And then of course, 9 is just simply 9. And then it's the same na. It's the same as the first one, which is what do we do? We take the h and k, but remember, you always have to reverse the sign. Which is, it will give us positive 3 and positive 5. And the radius would simply be the square root of the, la of the term on the right. Which is the square root of 9 is just simply... And there you have it. You have the center and radius already. It's very easy to find the center and radius if it is in the non-simplified st um, expanded standard form or it's on your standard form. Again, when I say non-simplified, remember in this, fig uh, in this given, we are still simplifying it further. Okay? So we are adding all the, ano, all the constants. So it's easier to do that. But in this case, let's take a look at the last example. Okay, It's written here as x squared plus 10x plus y squared minus 14y plus 5 is equal to 0. You will notice that these two given, the x's and the y's, they are not in the perfect square trinomial form. They are not on the PST. But there is this thing in, ano, in quadratic trinomials that you can actually find the PST by using the method known as completing the square. You can make this as PST using completing the square. Okay? So the completing the square here will be just like what we did in the other video. Wherein you will take this separately. X plus 10X. And then you will have Y minus 14Y. Okay? And then of course we will ignore this one. And we ignore that by just simply transferring it to the other side. But we will do that later. Okay? In this case, you can do PST here. By just simply taking 10, the middle term, divide it by 2. Okay? And, the, and getting the square of that. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 5 squared is equals to 25. So meaning, I will add, let's use the yellow one, 25 on this. Okay? So remember what I add in yellow. Okay? Because again, if I add that to the other side, we will do it on the other side. On the left side to the right side. Next one. Let's try our, this one, okay? y squared minus 14y, and then of course you will take the middle term, okay? Take the sign as well, get the square of that. Negative 14 over 2 is negative 7 squared, okay? And negative 7 squared is 49. So take a note, I will add 49 here to make it a perfect square trinomial. So let's rewrite them. I said this is now the, ne, the completed square. And this is another completed square. So you will have x squared plus 10x. Let's use the other marker. Plus 25. And then you will have plus y squared minus 14y. Let's use the other marker. Plus 49. And then again, on the other side, remember, everyone, that you have transposed this plus 5. So it would become negative 5. And... Take a look at the yellow ones. Okay, they are not originally on the equation. Therefore, it will make the equation imbalanced. Again, it's not on the original equation. This 5 is on the original equation. If we transfer it to the other side, it's okay. Okay, nothing is changed. But in this case, you have plus 25 and plus 49. So therefore, to make the equation balanced, you will add them also on the other side. Remember the concept of equality. Whatever you do on the left-hand side, you will always do on the right-hand side. The same goes for this one. 
Okay? Now the equation is balanced, you can now factor them out. The factored form of this, let's use a, another, a new color of marker. The factored form of this one is x plus 5 squared. The factored form of this one, you will have plus here. That would be y minus 7 squared equals to, let's try to evaluate this one, negative 5 plus 25 plus 49, the answer is 69. So we have 69. In this case, it's very obvious now to find the center. The center is at reverse sine of x. Uh, the constant of x, so we have negative 5. Reverse the sign of constant of y, so we will have positive 7. And then the radius is just simply the square root of your term on the right, on the constant on the right. And the square root of 69, I don't think there's any answer for that. Yeah, there's no answer for that. So therefore, if you get the square root of 69, and you cannot, again, if you get the square root of 69, and you cannot, just simply leave it as is. And there you go. You have your center and your radius. Okay? So let me have our last example. Uh, I'll give you one last example. x squared um, plus 12x plus y squared um, plus 7 minus um, 6y is equals to 12. Yeah. Now, on this case, you will notice that it is not a range. So the first thing you need to do is arrange them properly. Okay? And I will arrange them in this way. Wherein I will put all the x's together, leave a space. I will put all the y's together, leave a space. And transpose all the constant to the other side. 7 transposed to the other side will be 12 minus 7. Now let's add yellow 1 for the x. So the x would be 12 divided by 2 squared. The answer there would be 36 plus 36. Violet for the other. Y squared. I oh, don't know. No. Let's still use yellow. Y squared. So it's negative 6 divided by 2 squared. The answer is positive 9. So we add 36 here. We add 9 here. And then let's simplify further. Factor this one out and this one as well. So it will give us um, this is, um, I guess this is x plus 6 squared plus, uh, I think it's violet, we use violet, okay, plus y minus 3 squared. And on the other side, we will have, let's try to add 12 minus 7 plus 36 plus 9. The answer is 50, okay? Let's factor them out. Factoring out this one, it will give us, I mean not factor, it's already factored out. Looking for the center, reverse the sign of x, x is constant, negative 6. Reverse the sign of the y's constant, positive 3. The radius is equal to the square root of 50. Square root of 50 is equal to 25 times 2. And the square root of 25 is 5. And 2 has no square root, so 5 square root of so that would be it. That's how you find the center and radius if your given is either in the standard form, this one. Just box this box this one out. In the standard form. Okay? Or in the expanded non uh, non-simplified expanded stan standard form, medyo mahaba. Non-simplified expanded standard form or in your um simplified um, expanded form. Okay? So, yeah. So, this would be your, ano, um, just the tutorial on how to find the equation, uh, the parts of a circle, center, and radius. And this would be our last topic, uh, in regards to the equation of a circle. Okay? So, that would be all, everyone. If you would have any other questions, uh, you can view the video again or ask me in our class. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.